Nine minutes of unspeakable arrogance and hatred culminated in the death of yet another black man. Sadly, this is nothing new. It's very unfair that we're getting the same outcome as we did back in the day in olden days. Images of 1963 eerily mirror our reality that exists today in 2020, the year that was supposed to be highly anticipated for clear visions and strategic goals has made one thing clear for sure, that nothing has changed. I could just be walking down the street and I'm just a target to like the police, or I could just be driving, I just get pulled over for no reason. It kind of makes me feel unsafe and uneasy in a way. We have proven to be a resilient people. No president or police officer can tell us differently. My grades in high school were pretty great. I had AB honor roll all four years of high school. I was also in IB classes, which were pretty much challenging. There were like college classes in high school, and I pretty much passed all of them, so I feel like I did pretty good. Even through the tears, through the cuts, through the burns, we still love. When I was five years old, I always told my dad that I was born to be in front of people. I used to step, I used to model, I, used to, I still do dance. I just like feeling the love from all the people as they congratulate me on how good I've done, especially when I'm doing something that I love. When I was modeling, I saw myself as one of the best people that was there. And in the midst of the smoke, we hold on to the glimmer of hope. After I graduate college, I want to be able to open up my own dance studio so people like me, my skin color, can have the same opportunities or even more opportunities that we don't have. I feel as a black woman today, it's kind of hard to remind yourself that you are beautiful in the skin tone that you are, especially being a darker skin tone woman. Hope that in the midst of historical events unfolding around them, they can make their own history and create stories of triumph despite it all. My main aspiration is to be a strong, independent black woman. I don't want to have to depend on anybody such. When I get older, such as like my parents, my grandparents, or anybody that I find like a love interest in, I want to always know that regardless of any matter, that I have my back. I want people to know my name when I get older. I want them to know like that's Adara for what she, she does, step, dance, model, anything. <laughs>